Yo, what is going on, Glitch Gang? It's your boy Glitch Bro 23 here, back with another, another reaction to Rage Against the Machine, the Battle of Los Angeles album, New Millennium How Homes. It's been a minute since we did this on Rage, man. And let me tell y'all, let me tell y'all, when I was finna listen to Evil Empire, I, that was the next album I wanted to listen to. That was the next album I was gonna listen to on my own time because I was like, I was looking through your comments and it's like y'all won't and y'all were like you won't regret listening to Rage on your own time. Just enjoy the music for what it is. And ever since I started doing that and stopped like looking too deep into the lyrics, y'all guys love my reactions. I genuinely enjoy the music more. You know what I mean? So, um, but I, I, when I tell y'all, Evil Empire was gonna be the next album. I listened to Tech Nine's Calm Before the Storm. Evil Empire was next. It was next. And then Kendrick dropped his album. And right now I'm reacting to those tracks. I'm not listening to any new music until I can finally listen to that album as a whole. But Evil Empire is next. I promise you guys. Whether I listen to it live as a whole or I listen to it until my own time and eventually make an album review over it, Evil Empire is next. So if you guys want to see me uh, react to a few more tracks from my album, let me know in the comment section right now. Hit that like button if you enjoy, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Comment what you want to see next. Share your thoughts and opinions about the track and my reaction to it by the end of the video. If you guys want to join the Glitcher Game Discord, as always, links in the description. Other than that, man, without wasting any more time, Rage Against the Machine, New Millennium Homes. I don't believe there's any features. Has Rage ever done a track with a feature? I, I don't even know, to be honest. Um... Doesn't look like there is, so without further ado, let's get into it. Stay hungry for long. Already, first line is a bar. Zach's vocals definitely do sound a little like a um, little to turned down on this one, toned down on this one. I don't know why. I think maybe this isn't their first album, right? This isn't their first album. I feel like this is one of their last ones, to be honest. To the wrong pole, blood on the floor, but the tear is still drying. Cover the spread seats, the Dow Jones sky. Sell black livestock, the bodies they're buying. Old South on a new northern horizon. Bodies in all hands, a place they can leave. There's that bitch. Say living in warfare or punching the CD. I think that's what he's, what he's saying. I, I I forgot to pull up the lyric. It's too late to go to the lyric video now, but I got y'all next time. I got y'all next time with the rage reaction. I'll pull up the lyric video because I know y'all guys, y'all guys clown me when I mess up these lyrics, and I don't blame y'all. I know I'm retarded. I'll I'll straight up say it. Don't cancel me for saying the R word though. Y'all better not try to cancel me. For me calling myself retarded. Got it? 
Good. There's those drums. It was taking a minute for the drummers to come in right there, I feel like. I feel like it was it was taking a little bit. I really like that. Zach always has some very like quotable and memorable one-liners. I think there's at least one line that stands out to me within every single Rage track. I'd have to go back in the early days and the early reactions to find those when I was first discovering Rage and when I was like the biggest idiot to react to Rage, Rage Against the Machine, but there's always something that stands out. There's always one line, whether it be on the chorus or just whether it be a repeated start to the verse. There's always something that Zach says that stands out to me in every track, so. Describe it, but that little dang, 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 like dang, dang. I don't know how to describe that noise, but I actually like that little like. I don't think I've heard that on like a rock, like on one of these rage tracks before. The dang, 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 like I don't know how to describe it. I don't know what that is, but that little noise when Zach's repeating the uh, hungry people don't stay hungry for long line. That little noise when Zach's repeating that line, I like. I, I don't know why that just noise little, that stands out to me. shit is this? Hold up. What the fuck? <laughs> Yo! Yo, what the fuck is that? <laughs> That's, that's like one of those like little kitty toys that it's like the xylophone or something like that where it's like do -de 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 -de. like it sounds like one of those it sounds like people are blowing into some like like weird like water bottles you know how you blow like like if it's a glass bottle if you blow the top of it like it'll make a like it'll do that it sounds like that what the hell it, the, these sounds y'all remember Y'all remember the Grinch when he's explaining all the toys that the Who's get? It sounds like that giant, big-ass instrument that the Who's just ride in on. Like, and just, like, there's ten of them playing, like, fucking tubas, drums, like, cymbals. That's what it sounds like. Just, like, a bunch of random shit. <laughs>
I was just getting ready to say too when that shit was like popping up towards the end that that wasn't one of the strongest raid tracks in my opinion I've heard but then that fucking outro just the like the Whoville vibes and just weird instrumentals at the end like was just something I've never heard from Rage before and it really honestly saved the track in my opinion it wasn't a bad track I just feel like it wasn't on par with some of the tracks I've heard in the past you know what I mean so um but, but with Rage like Rage since like y'all guys have told me how to like listen to it how to like personally enjoy it like don't look too deep into it like it, it, Rage is fun to react to, and I love reacting to it. I love the support y'all guys show on the videos. I genuinely do, you know. And if y'all been with me for day one, y'all know I wasn't like the biggest like rock heavy metal fan. But Rage is somebody I will praise for introducing me to the rock heavy metal new metal world. You know what I mean? Like, and I'm still not gonna. I'm still not like gonna say like I'm a like a metalhead or anything. I'm definitely never going to claim that. But I definitely do appreciate metal music on another level since reacting to Rage and kind of, you know, getting to know what they're about. What they kind of stand for. What they kind of represent. And just for them making great-ass music. You know what I mean? So, um, but yeah. Wasn't the strongest track in my opinion. But I think the outro was definitely very interesting. Very unique. Um, definitely saved the track in my opinion. But, y'all let me know what y'all thought about that in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, man, if you guys want to see more from Rage Against the Machine, y'all know what to do by this point. Hit that like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Comment what you want to see next. Share your thoughts and opinions about the track and my reaction to it. If you guys want to join the Glitcher Gang Discord, as always, link's in the description. I'm going to start getting more active in that Discord, I promise you guys. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. Ugh, that Gatorade gave me, like, hiccups. I'll see you guys in the next one.